Alrighty guys, I have one more final modification to my little intersection here. Um, I went ahead, I got tired of hooking up the or my laptop just to switch between flash mode and um, full phase mode. So what I did, I added a code to the Arduino to use a switch. So now, I have a switch. So anyway, um, I'll let this cycle go through so you can kind of see it run through. But So right now it's just doing this full phase thing, you know, it's a regular, whatchamacallit. Alright, so it's doing this regular thing, and what I did with the programming, after each cycle of like, you know, green, yellow, red, I added a decision point in the Arduino to either, if the switch is still in high mode, just continue doing full phase mode, and if it's low, switch over to a flash mode. So right now, um, obviously it's in full phase mode, so switch it over to flash mode. So after this phase, it should go yellow to red and then into flash mode. And then when I put the switch back in the full phase mode, it resumes from whatever last phase it was in. So like this one obviously is going to be red when it does it. So it'll switch to the next cycle when it, I put it back in full phase mode. So I'll let you feel it here. Um, I set the times for the greens and the yellows to a random interval between, like for the greens it's between a half a minute to a full minute. So that way it kind of, it's like, it feels like it's either a short green at times, sometimes it's a longer green, and the yellow is between five to seven seconds. So it does it randomly, just to kind of simulate a real one. All right, so now they should go into flash mode. Alrighty, so these ones over here, obviously in flash mode. Uh, let me see, it's really cool when these go in flash mode because of the fade, like after it goes from regular cycle. Um, let's see. Alright, so. Alright, so once I flip the switch, they will go back to regular mode in five four three two one so that was apparently that was the last phase it remembered it was in so it just reverts back to it and then it'll cycle to its uh next one here let me go over and uh, obviously those are all red let me uh so after this cycle I'll go through, let me see, I'll try to figure out which one I'll show you after. I'll do it for the, uh, let me see, once it goes, I have these set up as the last phase to do just a regular green arrow with everything else in red, just like, a, like it would be a standard green arrow. I haven't seen that phase before, I don't know if it exists, maybe y'all know. But I figured it'd just be something to add to it. So I'll show you that after these uh, switch over here. Should change any minute here. There we go. Normally there's a timer on that one, but I, it hasn't had a chance to go through a full count yet since I just started it. So it should be on the next one. So I'll let it go ahead and switch over to uh, this next cycle here. Which is the green arrows. And then after...
So like I said, there's a decision point after each cycle. So once one turns red, if the switch is thrown, flash mode. If, there's, if the switch isn't thrown, stays in regular mode. It was a pain in the butt because I had to do what uh, Matt McCain taught me before with my sensor, my uh, flashing a little uh, sensor light. I had to wire the switch with a resistor because when I just did just the switch, it would randomly go into flash mode and then just randomly go back into full phase mode. So I had to do the whole resistor thing. I don't know if you can see it. Obviously, that's where the switch is. Um, there's the resistor. And that's going from five volt coming back through there and both the switch and the resistor are here and then this runs over to pin two which I have set for the button and now it's working flawlessly it hasn't malfunctioned since so I always wonder why Arduinos have to have resistors for certain stuff but you would think they would figure that out I guess in the latest revision but it is what it is I guess one of y'all know I'm sure so like, right now it's a long green arrow, sometimes it's a short green arrow, it just it's on random so it'll either be long or short, it just depends. And then like I said, after this cycle, I just had the flashing little arrow ones be just act as like a standard green. Like if you were just added like a red, yellow, green arrow light. I figured it's just something different to add, might as well. And then after these, it'll go in back to the first phase, which is the green phase here. I'll stand back one more time here. And you should see that it'll go to the normal. Uh, oh, it looks like my camera's going out of focus just a hair. Maybe if I step back just a little bit. Maybe mess with the zoom. Come on, camera. I think it's just out of focus because of the way the lights are. Um, it might look better if I turn the the big light off. Let me see. Might be a little bit better. All right, let's let me go back over. It might look a little better now. Well, it actually is a little worse because there's more glare. Okay, uh, I'll turn the light back on. Apparently my camera doesn't want to cooperate today. So I'll go back over here. And... That's a little better. So normally this cycle that it's on now is really short, but I guess the Arduino decided it wanted to do the long one this time. Like I said, it's, uh, it's just a random time or a millisecond delay on it. I have it delayed from half point five, whatever that is, in milliseconds, all the way up to a minute, like a full minute. So it'll, it just randomly decides when it turns. Okay, there we go. So now it'll go into its regular, um, back to the first phase here. All right, so now if I throw that switch, what it's gonna do, it's, gonna, it's still gonna do the ped going to stop and then these are gonna go to their green, yellow, red, flashing yellow, and then after that phase, they all turn yellow to red and then there's a slight delay and then you'll see them all just go into flash mode. So, one more time. Let's see if they can, yeah, I got it. All right, so. I'll take it back here one more time. So like this is like I said, this is gonna be a little longer phase because it's actually gonna go through the PID sequence and then the flashing yellow arrow sequence. And then when they all turn yellow and red, you'll see. Just give it a few seconds here. I even have the PID on random time too, so sometimes the PID will be short, sometimes it'll be long. Just depends on what the Arduino is in the mood for. Lately it's been doing long cycles. Very rarely it does the short ones. I guess it's just technology, I suppose. All right, so should the pitch should start flashing here shortly. Whenever it feels like it wants to. Come on. Come on. Hmm. 
and Arduino's being funny here. It must know I'm filming, so it's doing the. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say it's doing the longest fade or time possible. Bet you if I turn the camera off, it'll start doing all short intervals. Next phase is the lose. Yeah, this one usually is really short too, but like I said, I think they're doing it just knows I'm filming. And it's like, eh, let me go ahead and do the long phase. Why not, right? Oh, there's motion outside because my other one's just fired up. They're in a motion sensor, so they usually go through a... Uh, Flash mode. It's set um, to flash mode. When, whenever there's motion outside, it goes to flash mode, and then it'll go into its regular cycle. Alright. Alright, so as soon as it finishes this, the uh, flashing cycle here, then it'll go into flash mode. See if I can zoom out just a little so with all the other lights. Alright, so now it'll do flash mode. So that's it, folks. Um, it's my last modification. So these lights I'm done messing with. I have all the codes I needed installed in there. Doing now, I don't need to use the computer to bounce back and forth between full phase and flash anymore. I can just do it right there. So happy signal, everyone. My next project is going to be using the rest of the lights I have left in my train layout if I can ever get it built but um that's it folks Let me flip the switch again full phase and like I said happy signaling alrighty good night guys